one of the um, subjects very close to my own heart is boxing and the history of boxing. So you can imagine my glee at discovering the National Library has this cornucopia of boxing materials. And where I'd like to start describing to you is the, um, the very first fight that was sanctioned in South Africa. And it has a, um, a pertinence to the National Library itself because it took place between two men, one uh, a Mr. J.R. Cooper and another Wolf Bendoff. These two men were each sponsored by a different benefactor and one was A. Bailey who donated a lot of funds to the library and the other one was the famous landlord Barney Bonato. In the event J.R. Cooper won and that was A. Bailey's man so um, it has a, a direct resonance with this very room that we're standing in right now. Another thing that is interesting for me about J.R. Cooper, the boxer, is that he was also J.R. Cooper, the author. And this is a novel that he wrote called Mixed Humanity, and this is uh, an original first edition that the library is lucky enough to have. Um, clues to Mr. Cooper's boxing career come in the form of illustrations, which you can see uh, directly mimic his, his experiences in the ring in Kimberley. Just as segregation and apartheid ricocheted through the rest of South African society, um, so it did through the sport of boxing. And one of the things I find really interesting here is looking at old boxing magazines. And you can really see, looking at these magazines, how distorted the landscape became because of the politics. Um, so we have over here uh, a copy of Fight Magazine, The Amateur Boxer, um, The African Ring, and a whole bunch of others. Um, and aside from showcasing some of the, the big boxing talents of the day, you find really peculiar stories. Um, so there's one here, for example, about a boxer by the name of Johnny LaRue, who, um, to all intents and purposes, looks like a regular sort of middleweight boxer. Um, but you turn the page and realize that he was actually fighting with no hands. Um, he had special gloves manufactured for him. and. Um, you can see he really did have no hands and he really did fight. Um, elsewhere we've got probably South Africa's most famous boxer, Ezekiel Dlamini, uh, aka King Kong. And these magazines are, are fantastic little glimpses into the, the stories, not just the uh, athletes of the day. Um, very, very well worth a visit.